This is the Valley Today. Well, if you're waking up and peeking outside, it might look like the snow is here to stay for the season. And many times, too often, some would say that means your car could end up in a ditch. Yeah, first responders say there is one mistake that drivers usually make after a crash like that that can put even more lives at risk. We'll explain what that major mistake is in two minutes. But first, we want to check in with meteorologist Lisa Green. She is tracking some flurries that are flying right now in certain parts. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Yes, the wintry weather not done with us yet here in the valley. We're looking at one of our areas where we're seeing some uh, well, earlier today. We saw some snow on the ground. This is our view from the Minnesota DOT cam. We are looking at conditions that are going to be on the uh, snowy side on some of our roads here this morning. And uh, that is we go. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better on my microphone. We're looking at uh, the possibility for uh, a view like this here is what I was trying to say. This is a recent uh, photo from this morning, a snapshot from one of the Minnesota DOT plow cams on the uh, left hand side of the road, the driver's side or rather the passing lane. Uh, that's where we're looking at that snow on the road surface. So that's fresh from this morning and we continue to see that uh, be a possibility for us again today. So uh, not ideal driving. You can see visibility down in the distance in our live view right now in Fargo, though in town it hasn't been too bad for the last couple of hours at least, but other places are still reporting snow. Jamestown, Bemidji, Detroit Lakes, Devils Lake, all seeing some snow right now. And in Fargo, we're at 19 degrees, 18 in Grand Forks, with a more on the mostly cloudy side of things here at the moment. But there are still some flurries possible and more flakes coming our way for the day today. Radar showing the area of greatest snowfall rates going on right along the North Dakota, South Dakota line. So we're talking about Ellendale back through Oaks and into Gwinter and down into places like Northern Brown County in South Dakota, Marshall County in South Dakota, and then up toward Valley City and Tower City. Excuse me, we see a few areas of some light snow. Fargo Moorhead's still kind of quiet. And then there are places getting some snow and it's not necessarily showing up on the radar here this morning. So uh, just keep that in mind. Even if you're not seeing it on the VNL Weather app, the radar has sometimes a little bit harder time detecting that snow the farther away it gets from the radar site in Mayville. That doesn't mean that we're not getting the snow uh, necessarily. So here's a look at what we can expect here for today in our hour by hour planner. Chances for snow all morning long, mostly cloudy skies. The best bet for getting more accumulations though will be happening into the afternoon and evening for the those of us especially along the Red River and east of there. So by noon, temperatures into the 20s, and then this afternoon you could see our snow chances kind of increase a bit. Temperatures don't go up much more than the mid-20s though today, so we stay below freezing and well below average here. And as we mentioned yesterday, our warmest temperatures are happening at the start of the week, so below average today. And it just goes downhill from here. Some more details on the reinforcing shot of cold air coming our way. And when we might see those snow chances end as well coming up here in just a couple of minutes. Yeah, we have a lot we need to go over here. Be careful with those flurries. Lisa, thank you. And slippery roads can often mean spin outs in the ditch. And police say there is one thing that most people do in that situation that can be more dangerous than the crash itself. Now, here's a live look this Tuesday morning at I-94 near Moorhead, which has its share of crashes every winter. Now, the number one thing not to do if you end up in the ditch is get out of your car. Yeah, the Minnesota Safety Council says to stay in your vehicle unless you're in danger inside. If someone has slid off the road, chances are good that others will as well. So it's best to stay buckled up in your car until emergency crews arrive. If it's blustery out or you don't feel that you won't be found right away, conserve your energy inside your car and make sure that your flashers are on when you hear a vehicle approaching. And it's times like this that an emergency survival kit could help in a big way. And for a closer look, if you're getting ready to head out the door, Jordan's joining us in studio with a look at our travel map. Yeah, we want to get a check of those right now. Lisa, say those flurries coming down. Check of our uh, northwest Minnesota travel maps right here. We're talking about partially covered to fully covered roads. A lot of major roads there. We were just taking that look at I-94. Right now, I-94 from Moorhead to Pelican Rapids is actually in green. That means seasonally good. Good for winter, not good for summertime driving, though. However, once we get past that Pelican Rapids exit heading on down to Fergus Falls, we got partially covered snow roads there. We have 
four different crashes that I'm tracking here. We have one um, just near Purim. There is a crash that happened there between uh, Highway 80 and Highway 78. Also, just south of Bemidji, we're talking about a crash this morning. That one's on County Road 9, actually uh, closer to Park Rapids. Excuse me, not Bemidji. They even have a little uh, photo there showing snow falling in that area. And then out near the uh, Barrett Ashby area, there are two different crashes on our maps there this morning. So watch out for that. We head farther north uh, into Thief River Falls. The roads start to get a little bit better as we head more toward Green Bush Badger. Again, green seasonal roads. North Dakota road maps this morning. Let's get those to load here and take a look. If they can pop up, okay, in and around the metro area, we're talking about blue. That means wet. Could be slush, could just be melted snow. Either way, look out for that. I-94 near Jamestown Valley City, covered in snow. And then as you take I-29 north and south, spotty areas of snow as well. We'll keep you updated on road conditions throughout the morning right here on the Valley Today. Ashlyn. All right, thank you for that close-up look. A Fargo woman being remembered for her infectious spirit and immense love for her daughter after she lost her life in a car crash last week. 28-year-old Josephine Jacobowie was killed in a head-on crash near Millbank, South Dakota. It was while she was delivering pharmaceuticals. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley tells us how friends and co-workers are now remembering her. It was a fast friendship for Rachel Alderson and Josephine Jacobowie when they met nearly three years ago. She was kind in everything she did. When she talked to you, she made you feel like you were the only person in the room. And that friendship carried into work as Alderson hired Josephine at her Detroit Lakes Massage Therapy Clinic. And then again this spring when Alderson opened Fargo's first stretch lab location. She is probably one of the hardest working women that I ever knew. Alderson says Josephine's sudden passing has shattered both her and Josephine's many clients. A woman Alderson says was known for how much she loved her five-year-old daughter, Delilah. You know, you think about sports moms with a fan on their shirt, wearing that badge of honor on their shirt. Um, and she was her badge of honor. She was her pride and joy. Immigrating here from Sudan 22 years ago, Alderson says Josephine was the epitome of living the American dream, working hard to one day save enough money to afford sending her young daughter to Oak Grove. And wanting to help keep that dream alive, Alderson and Stretch Lab have started an online fundraiser with an event in honor of Josephine planned at the Fargo studio Tuesday. A person Alderson says everyone should try to emulate that we all just hope that we have just a little bit of the impact that she had on all of us. Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. Now, if you would like to, you can give a free will donation to Josephine's daughter and funeral expenses today at Fargo Stretch Lab. It's taking place from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Or you can donate online. We have the link for you available on our VNL News app. Just click on this story. Sheriff's deputies investigating the death of a man found dead in the snow in Grand Forks County. Now he was discovered yesterday morning near Northwood. No word on his ID or how he died. A blizzard stop turns into a drug bust. Two people are facing charges after a state trooper stopped to help them during last week's winter storm. The Highway Patrol says two cars were stopped on I-94 near Mandan on Friday, and one of the drivers was driving without a license. After getting search warrants, police found a pound and a half of fentanyl, methadone, and more than $61,000 cash between the two vehicles. 28-year-old Oscar Garza Silva and 33-year-old Amanda Fragazzo Cook were arrested in possession of fentanyl, with intention to deliver. Inflation is now hitting the toy box. Still to come on the Valley today, why you might want to pad your holiday gift giving budget by about 15%. And up next, whether to plan out your day as we look ahead to what's to come this Tuesday and throughout the week. We'll be right back.